Good morning. It's super early this time, and I am cold. Brr, it's cold in Portland early in the morning. Um, yesterday, we went to the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry Museum, and then we went to the kids' park first. The lady at the front desk was like, oh, made it sound like it wasn't worth going. Honestly, if you were ever going to go on one of those contest shows where you had to like solve problems or puzzles or anything like that, I would highly recommend going to the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry to practice and train. They got all these things in there, like skill set, problem solving. Um, honestly, it would be an excellent training camp for squid games or one of those tv shows where you have to compete and things so we went through the children's part and it was very interesting and i cannot quit thinking about the rest of the museum so we went into the adult section we didn't pay for the movies they were 45 minutes long and it was extra and da, 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 so we just got the real basic package but it gave us access to view um there was an aids quilt exhibit um which was symbolic and heart moving but kind of sad um, and super beautiful the quilt work was just spectacular we didn't spend a lot of time in there though so then we went on and the main focus of the um, uh, I guess the main focus of the um, sorry about the pause security is having a real hard time deciding what I'm doing in the truck so um, the main per, per, main the exhibit the main exhibit was about orcas and i had a hard time with that exhibit to be honest with you and a third of it gave you information about it and talked about the tribes the native tribes and the indigenous people that were a part of the orcas and whatnot and then half of it was all about sea world and sea world's interaction with orcas and i saw the world words sea word world 500 times and it was like a low-key commercial promoting them in a real weird way um as a child all you saw is sea world sea world sea world sea world so that's what you're going to want to go do is support more murder and oppression and so then it's like okay this is depressing i don't want to be in this exhibit part anymore so then we went to the last section and it's all about reptiles and amphibians and little creatures and so then we went into we left the orca exhibit and then we went into the tortured captive caged prisoner section of the exhibit which was a whole bunch of little reptiles and animals um, hiding the best of their ability and trying not to exist because their existence is in a small oppressed place and this chinchilla I cannot quit thinking about this poor chinchilla it looked so unhappy and its cage was so small and trash it was some wood chips and a bright reptile light. And honestly, I just want to liberate that chinchilla. I cannot quit thinking about him. I feel so sorry for him. I think that the people of Portland should rally together and shut this bullshit down. But they're not going to. This place is cherished in the city. And so, really, honestly, the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry, you get two thumbs down. And one thumbs down is for stealing my money and tricking me thinking that it was going to have anything to do with science and industry because basically it was a commercial for SeaWorld. You should be paying me. And the second thumbs down, which is actually two more thumbs down, would be all the trapped animals in oppressive little terrible cages. So I can't quit thinking about the chinchilla. Um, I've got my contrasting and all that stuff today. You know, I got all that. But honestly, this chinchilla has got under me. And I need to try to help him or her or whatever. So I'm going to be making several phone calls to the museum today. And I'm going to maybe contact PETA. Because 
This is some trash. Oregon Museum of Science and Industry. I hope you go out of business.